It came out so fucking hard. Did you see the letterpress one? Take this shit Oh. One of the things that's made the situation like so much more difficult is that, you know, like the Homeland Security Department started these like contracts with uh, with uh, certain states, and they're called the 287G agreement. And what they're doing is that they're giving a lot of power to the local authorities to uh, to start deputizing, bringing in like some really ugly racist elements into the into the force. You know, before. There was, a, there was a, a different kind of way of doing it. Yeah. Um, and now, it's not Sheriff Arpaio, not his own. He's like bringing Minutemen in, deputizing them, making them federal agents, yeah. ex clan folks, bringing them in, deputizing them. And they're really terrorizing communities. They, they're going after people, you know. And one example which was so like horrific was that like, they set up these like traffic stops, you know. Actually, they're pulling, you know, women workers from cars for whatever, busted tail light. Kind of shit, right? And then start doing like a on the spot like check for papers, check wow. for documents. You know? So there have been several examples of this in Maricopa County, in Arizona, where mother gets pulled from the car, her children in the back seat, you know, mom gets detained and then deported, and the yeah. kids are left on the street abandoned. Wow. And so the local organizations that were gonna donate the, the proceeds from this, they're the ones that would like help those yeah, children yeah. and like, find a place to be, find a oh, place nice. to live, you know. And then um, also just put pressure upon our payo's office to first and foremost like stop those agreements with Homeland Security. Yeah. You know, if people don't step up in like so many other cities, then other yeah. cities will adopt the same agreements and become the model nationally. Yeah. You know, and it's a real problem. You guys making you guys spraying shirts like this? Nah, uh, I just I made it on one shirt. It's pretty dope though. Eh? Ooh, did you get the shirt with that? Yeah. <laughs> I've been researching like all like the, the Chicano stuff recently because I didn't. Growing up knowing about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't speak English till I was older, you know. Yeah. Not older, but probably like older than most kids, like seven or yeah, eight. Yeah. And, um, I had two odd, like three audio sign-up samples. It was Elvis, Metallica, and, uh -huh. and I had like 40 seconds of, uh, of Don't Believe the Hype. Oh, shit. So that's where I like got into it. Oh, yeah. That shit is fucking dope. <laughs> yeah, that's clean. That shit is fucking dope. Yeah, that shit looks 